The Hoover Dam is still considered an engineering marvel, but did you know its name wasn't always a unanimous decision? In a previous video, we told you how in September 1930, Secretary of the Interior Ray Lyman Wilbur said the project would be named after Herbert Hoover. But when Hoover wasn't re-elected, the new secretary under newly elected President Franklin Delano Roosevelt tried to remove Hoover's name from the project and call it the Boulder Dam. While there was debate over whether or not there could be an official name change, the effect was all the same. Things from government documents to promotional materials called it the Boulder Dam. Even when FDR dedicated the dam in 1935, he too called it the Boulder Dam. But in 1947, a House resolution was submitted to restore the name back to the Hoover Dam and was adopted without a dissenting vote. President Truman signed the resolution saying that anything referring to the Boulder Dam shall be referred to as the Hoover Dam. 